Hey guys, I'm Natalie. Welcome to today's side booty band workout. You're going to need a closed loop resistance band, something to hold onto like a chair, a wall or a piece of furniture. And you're going to need a floor mat. Regarding your band, don't worry about trying to go out as far as I am. Uh, maybe you're going further, maybe you're not going as far. It all depends on how much stretch you have in your band. So you want to make sure it has a little bit of give. You don't want one that's too heavy that doesn't enable you to move your feet at all. But again, you also want to make sure that you've got something that's going to challenge you. We're going to put the band around the base of the feet to start with because that's going to get the greatest amount of muscle activation. A couple of points on form. I want to make sure, of course, that the abs are always engaged so you're not hunched over. So you've got a nice long tall torso even if we're pivoting forward a little bit. You want to make sure you're never locking the knees out. The knee shouldn't collapse in. You want to make sure that the knees are sitting over the ankles. If you were to bend the knees forward, they're always lining up with your middle toe. You want to make sure that the foot stays flex. So whether we're stepping or we're lifting the leg, you want to make sure you've got a nice flex foot and the foot's not turning out or turning in. It's always perpendicular to the body and it's always staying parallel to each other. I'll remind you of that as we go through the exercises today. Guys, I think we're ready. So the first move, we're going to take four steps to the side and four steps back. Engage the abs. So roll the shoulders back and down. The knees are soft. We're going to get into a little athletic stance here. So bend forward and here we go. Four steps to the side just to warm up. Three and four and back. Two, three and four. Making sure that the feet are staying parallel and you're just pushing out as far as you need to to feel it, three and four. And if you like, push off this back leg, three and four, push off this back leg, two, three, four. Just pause here now, we're gonna walk forward for four. One, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and back. So making sure that these feet are staying parallel, you've got your form, You've got a nice soft bent knee, two, three, four, and let's just do a half a one, two. Well done, guys. All right, grab your chair or a piece of furniture, roll the shoulders back and down, all the weight on your right leg. Get ready with your left leg, foot is flexed and parallel, push it all the way out and halfway in, all the way out and halfway in. So I'm just using this chair for balance, I'm not leaning down onto it. I'm trying to keep the torso more or less upright all the way out and halfway in, the foot is flexed for three, two, and one. Now pulse, pulse, halfway in, pulse, pulse, halfway in. So we're doing two little pulses at the top, pulse, pulse, halfway in. A few more guys, keep the abs engaged, the back's up tall, I'm feeling it too. For two and one, now hold it at the top and just small pulses. Small pulses for 10 seconds. Keep it going, guys. We've got five seconds. Make sure you're watching that form. Two, one. All right, we get 10 seconds rest. Tap it out, shake it out, roll the shoulders back and down again. Nice soft bend in this knee. Same leg, we're gonna do circles in one direction. So I'm starting going backwards. You're doing a circle, more or less the size of a cantaloupe. Yeah, I'm feeling it. So keeping that foot flexed keeping the feet parallel. The foot is flexed, it's perpendicular to the body. Keep going guys, a few more in this direction. We're going back for three, two, one. Shake it out, tap it out. Now we're gonna go the other direction, forward circles. We're gonna bring it home and then we're gonna change legs. So keep that foot flexed. Hold onto the chair if you need to, a wall, a piece of furniture. Keep going guys. I know we're feeling it in the standing leg too. 10 seconds, stick with it. <sighs> Breathe, let's go, five seconds. <sighs> Three, two, one. Oh yeah, side booty burn. Repeating on the other side. So keeping this knee nice and soft, we're going all the way out and halfway in. Get ready, here we go. All the way out and halfway in, all the way out and halfway in. So what I mean by halfway in is you're not bringing the foot all the way back in. You've still got a tiny little bit of resistance on that band. I'm not putting all my body weight on this chair. I'm just resting on it for three, two, and one. Now we're gonna pulse, pulse in, pulse, pulse in. So try not to put all your body weight on the chair or the wall or the furniture. 
pulse, pulse in. Watch your form. That'll help you keep your mind off how much your booty's burning. Three, two, and one. Hold this one out and just small pulses. 10 seconds. You got it, guys. I'm feeling it. Stick in there. Let's go. Five seconds. I'm shaking. Two, one. All right, shake it out. Getting ready to do those circles. Doesn't matter if you do forward or back first. I'm going to go back. Get ready, soft bend in this knee. Let's do the circles. So we do more or less a bit over 20 seconds of circles in each direction, giving you a teeny tiny little rest in between to shake it out. If you are doing this workout multiple times a week, you might want to switch which foot you're starting with. For three, two, and one. Let's shake it out a little bit. Get ready in the other direction. Nice soft bend in this knee. Circles the size of a cantaloupe, rock melon. Keeping that form, keeping the foot flexed and parallel. You got this, guys, a few more seconds. Stick with it. Let's go, 10 seconds. Let's go, guys. Hang in there. Five seconds, keep up with that form. Two, one. All right, guys, bring the band up to above your knees. A piece of furniture, the chair can go to one side. We're going to squat and just with your left leg, we're gonna raise it out to the side. Squat down and raise. It's important to not turn the foot up to the ceiling. You're keeping the foot parallel. You're keeping it flexed. Do not let those toes turn up to the ceiling. Squeeze and hold. Squeeze and hold and squeeze. And one more, now change sides. Down, squeeze and hold. Don't let that foot turn up. If you can, try and turn the toes almost like you're trying to turn them down to the floor. You won't be able to, but that's the idea. And don't lean over too far. Try and keep the torso straight for three. Squeeze and hold. Two. Squeeze and hold. One. Squeeze and hold. Come low. Press the knees out and just give me little squat pulses. Stay low. Booty is back. Two. One. Well done, guys. Grab the mat into a fire hydrant, so on your hands and knees, starting with your right leg all the way up and down. Here we go, bring it up and down, up and down. Now keep those hips facing the ground. You don't wanna open the body up. Just bring that band up as far as you need to so you're feeling it engage in the booty. Keep that foot flex still for three, two, and one. Now you're bringing it up, kicking it out, in and down. Up, kick, in and down. We're only doing a few of these guys. Try not to lean over too far. You want your hips to be facing forward. Two and one. Now come up into the top of the fire, fire hydrant and just pulse it up. Keep that foot flexed, pulse it up. Two, one, woo. And done. Changing sides. So we're gonna do the other. So all the way up and down. Keeping that foot flexed. Here we go, guys. Up and down. Hips are facing down. You're bringing it up and hopefully feeling it in that booty, keeping the knee at a 90 degree angle. All the way up, all the way up. Let's do a few more. Let's do two and one. This time, bring it up and kick, kick, in and down. Fire hydrant, kick, in and down. The foot is still staying flexed. Up, kick, in and down. Come on guys, stick with it. We are almost there. Let's do three, two, and then on the next one, we're gonna come to the top of the fire hydrant and just pulse. I probably made you do one extra kick here. Two, one. Well done, guys. Come down on your back into a glute bridge. I want you to bring the feet wide, just a little bit wider than your hips, and you're gonna come up to the top, keeping the knees pressed out, and squeeze up, press out. Squeeze up, press out. Up and out, up and out. Keep it going here, guys. Up and out, squeeze up, out. Up and out. Now hold it at the top, you're squeezing the glutes and you're just pressing the knees out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A few more here. Three, two, one. Bring the feet together, come up into a glute bridge. 
squeeze the knees out. Now squeeze the glutes up, press the knees out. Squeeze the glutes up, press the knees out. So really, squeeze up, press out. The glutes are staying squeezed the whole time. You're just doing an extra squeeze at the top. Squeeze and out. Now pulse, pulse out, pulse, pulse out, pulse, pulse out, and hold the out. Well done, guys. Put the weight back around the base of your feet like we started. Bring the feet up above your head. Hands under your booty. Now press the feet out and in, out and in. I really want you to make sure that those feet are flexed and they are staying parallel to each other. They're not turning in or out, out and in, out and in. A few more here, guys. Out and in, out and in. Now out, out, in, out, out, in. Little pulses, out, out, in for three, two and one now point the feet keep the feet parallel press them out and in out and in i'm feeling it too making sure you're pressing all the way out and in all the way out and in pulse pulse in pulse pulse in we've only got a few more pulse it out and in two one guys you are done all right well done i want you to bring one foot cross it over the top of the other Flex your feet, grab your shins, and pull your legs down towards the ground. Switching sides, so cross the other leg over, keep the feet flexed, grab your shins, and pull down. Hopefully you're feeling this in the booty. My glutes are on fire. Okay, we're gonna do a figure four stretch. So one leg on top of the other one, the foot's flex, reach through, and then pressing back with your elbow on whatever knee's on top. Gently pulling the other leg towards your body as you're pressing out using your elbow on this top bent leg. Switching sides, crossing it over, reaching through, pressing out with this elbow on this foot and very gently pulling the other knee back towards you. Keep the feet flexed the whole time if you can. Felt good, right guys? Side booty burn. All right, come up. I want you to bring one leg in, the other leg is out, the feet are still flexed. Reach the body forward. Now walk it to the side of the straight leg. If you can't reach the foot, that's all right. Just bring your hands down on the floor and the other side. Reaching, sorry, reaching forward first. And then slowly walking over to that leg, pulling the foot back if you like. Let's come up on our knees, pressing. One foot forward, let's stretch out through the hip. I want you to breathe into that hip. Now grab your glute and squeeze it and then push forward through the hip. Let it go, grab the booty again, squeeze it, it's very subtle, and push forward through that hip. Other side, pressing forward through the hip, breathing the oxygen into it, grabbing the booty, squeezing it, pushing forward. Let's do one more. Squeezing that glute cheek again, Pressing forward through the hip. All right, guys, well done. I hope you enjoyed that. If you need to, do a few more glute stretches. If you are repeating this workout multiple times a week, I strongly recommend switching which side you start in terms of the standing leg because you do feel the other leg burning when it becomes the supporting leg. Hopefully that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed that workout today, guys. Comments or suggestions down below, and I will see you next time.